Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Rainy. Good morning. I pray that you all received sweet sleep last night. Hey, Heartbeat Nicole. Hey, Heartbeat Melodia. Woke up with bells and whistles on. Hey there, Heartbeat Belinda and Heartbeat Aaliyah. Heartbeat Bernice. Heartbeat Eva. Happy Tuesday to you too. Good morning, good morning, good morning. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We beseech you, O Father, save now. Send prosperity now. Good morning, good morning, good morning, heartbeat nation. I hope that right now you find yourself in a place where you are just so filled because the presence of God is so strong around you. I pray that you just feel God's love towards you on this morning. The mere fact that you are alive, the mere fact that you have breath in your body, it's a reason to praise. It's a reason to worship the Father on this morning. Well, welcome to the gathering of hearts. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the heart gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is a continuation of yesterday. Worship is the answer part two. Worship is the answer part two. And so worship gives us courage for what lies ahead. Um, it reminds us that God is always on our side. Worship is bowing before our God. It's surrendering um, your all, surrendering your life. And so Romans 12, 1, and I'm reading it out of the Good News Bible on this morning. It says this. It says, so then, my brothers and sisters, because of God's great mercy to us, I appeal to you, Offer yourselves as a living sacrifice to God, dedicated to his service and pleasing to him. This is the true worship that you should offer. And so it's simply this, that when we offer up ourselves to God, that this is the true, it's a sacrifice to him. And so when we begin to worship, it means that I'm laying down everything that's before me because none of that stuff matters, but only God. God matters because he's awesome, because he's supreme, because he's majestic, because he's your all in all, because he's the one when you run out of adjectives to describe him. You know, God is the redeemer. God is the healer. You know, God is our father and he's a good, good father. And so when we begin to worship, we begin to surrender all. We begin to bow down everything because only God matters. See, it doesn't matter what situation that you're facing. When you understand who God is, when you understand that he's all knowing, he's all powerful, see nothing else matters but him. And you begin to worship, you begin to fall at his feet, you begin to get into the throne room, you begin to lock everything out because the only thing that matters to you is the father. See, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how people, you know, label you. None of that matters when you come into the presence of God. And so worship is about focusing fully focusing totally on God. And so this morning, the example that I want to share with you is the woman with the alabaster box. And so we're in Luke, I'm in Luke uh, verse seven, and I'm going to start at verse 37. So here we have um, a woman who was an outcast, who had been used, who had been abused, but she bought her most prized possession to, to Jesus to pour it out as an expression of her love and to pour it out as an expression of worship, to worship him. She pressed through her guilt. She pressed through her filth. Um, fear, I'm sorry. She pressed through all of the prejudices that she was facing to worship Jesus. That's what it means to put everything aside. I'm no longer afraid. I'm no longer worried about what I'm carrying. I'm no worried, no longer worried about self-condemnation. I'm putting all that aside. It says that she pressed through to push all of those things aside and she stood at his feet behind him. So it says this, and behold a woman, King James Version, and behold a woman in the city 
which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment and stood at his feet behind him, weeping and began to wash his feet with tears and did wipe them with the hairs of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with ointment and so it says that the tears you know imagine this if it says that she washed his feet with her tears can you imagine how much she was crying it was like tears that make you blind you know when you're you cry so much that you can't even see this is how powerful the presence of jesus was for her this is how much she loved him that her tears caused her to almost be blind because she was in the presence of the father that she realized that when I get in your presence, nothing that I'm going through matters. It doesn't matter what I'm carrying. It doesn't matter what people say about me. It doesn't even matter what I feel about myself. That when I get in your presence, that I'm overwhelmed in your glory. I'm overwhelmed and I'm basking in your goodness. I'm overwhelmed at how great you are. I'm overwhelmed that even a sinner like me, that you're okay with me being around you you that you're not worried about how dirty I am you're not worried about my flaws she it says but she washed his feet with her hair with her tears that that is just how much she loved God that she brought everything that she had it says and then the, after she washed his her his feet with her tears she dried it with her hair and then she kissed his feet she bowed down to the father see that's what worship is about is submitting unto his glory, submitting unto his power, acknowledging him as the almighty God, acknowledging him as the sovereign one, acknowledging him as the redeemer, as the deliverer, as the healer, as the provider. It's acknowledging him. It says this, it says she poured out. So she used this oil to pour out her praise. She poured out her worship like oil. See, this is what happens when you worship. See, here's the thing when you worship see nobody else knows the cause of your oil nobody else knows where he found you nobody else knows what you've been through nobody knows how your life was before Jesus entered in see you don't know the cost of the oil in her alabaster box you don't know the cost of the oil in my alabaster box but it's this it's, it says she began to worship worship God and so you've got to begin to worship when you begin to think about how sin took you a little further than you wanted to go and it kept you a little longer than you wanted to stay but God glory to God when you think about how Jesus came he healed your soul with just one touch but God when you think about worship is simply this it's simply giving back all that he has given to me and then you realize that's why you love him so much because when you think about all that God has done and all that I can do is give you my worship give you my praise give you my worship of how great you are worship you because you are the king of kings worship you because you are the lord of lords worship you it says she poured, poured out her oil now you might not have any oil to pull out, but you got to praise. You might not have any oil to pull out on his feet, but you got to worship. You've got a testimony. You've got a memory of where you used to be before God entered your life. You've got a memory of that he's forgiven you for everything that you could ever do, everything that you could ever think of. You've got a memory of just how great God is, how great is our God. It says she poured out. And so when we begin to worship, it's simply this, is I'm giving back unto God. I'm not worried about where I am. I'm not worried about how people may shame me. I'm not worried about the labels that have been placed on me because I know that when I get in his presence, that he begins to pull off every label, layer by layer. He pulls off the shame and he pulls off the guilt and he pulls off the low self-esteem and he pulls off the anger and he pulls off the attention. He pours off the stress. Then when I get into his presence, it changes the game. It's game over for the way I used to be, but I realize that now I am falling in love with Jesus. That is the best thing that I could have ever done. And all I want to do is spend time in his presence. All I want to 
to do is worship him because it's what I have. That I never run out of worship. You know, I could run out of money. I could run out of a voice. I could run out, but I never run out of worship because he's just too good. The mere fact that I woke up this morning, it's enough to worship God. The mere fact that I didn't wake up in a shelter, I didn't wake up in a hospital, it's enough to worship my God. The mere reason, the mere mention of his name is the reason to just worship my God. The mere fact that I don't look like what I've been through is the reason to worship God. To worship him where I begin to cry, where I'm almost blind because the tears are overwhelming me because he's been just that good. Worship. See, worship is the answer. When I begin to worship, God begins to speak back to me. When I begin to worship, my strength comes. When I begin to worship, I find the answer. The answer to whatever it is that I may be going through. Because worship is the answer. It reminds me that he is God, that he is king, that he is redeemer, that he is provider, that he is the healer, that he is whatever I need him to be, whenever I need him to be. But it's in worship that I find the answer to anything that I could ever go through, anything that I could be facing. And the answer is always mm -mm good because Jesus is the answer to everything. Hey, listen, that's the daily dosage for today. Worship is the answer. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, let's say it together. Say, God wants me whole and I am. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Go out there and have a spec while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. And you know what? I'll see you right back here tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. as we continue on in this series that worship is the answer. Make sure you worship our God today because he deserves your praise. He deserves the honor. He deserves the glory. He deserves our worship. Again, I love you guys a bunch and I'll see you right back here in the morning. Take care.